Okay, so which of the following histological features would be expected in this tumor? So we got cancer, tumor, kind of answer choices. So a 60-year-old woman presents with persistent pain and a palpable mass in her right pelvis. Imaging studies reveal a large mass with areas of calcification within the cartilaginous matrix. Biopsy confirms the presence of malignant chondrocytes. The physician diagnoses the patient with the malignant tumor of cartilage forming cells. Which of the following would be expected? Okay, so persistent pain, palpable mass, um, calcification, and chondrocytes. So chondrocytes, we're thinking cartilage. It tells us cartilage. So anaplastic cells, atypical chondrocytes, haphazard, haphazard arrangement of osteoblasts, malignant spindle cells, and small round cells. Okay, so... I mean, the chondrocytes is pointing me towards the atypical chondrocytes with binucleation. I don't really know what condition that would be, but I'm going to hold off on that. A, we we talked about anaplastic before. That's just kind of when they're like, it's really bad. Um, they're not really differentiated. Um, I don't think it's that. Because um, they have cartilage forming cells. Arrangement, haphazard arrangement of osteoblasts in class. That makes me think of like Paget disease. Okay. Where and then malignant spindle cells with rosette. Um, I don't think it's that. I'm trying to remember what specific thing that is, but it's not clicking with that one. Um, spindle cells, like I think of like cytokeratin and things like that. And this is cartilage. Uh, and then small round cells, I'm thinking like neuroendocrine kind of. Okay. So hi, I'm going with B. Okay, perfect. Question, uh, final answer? Yes. Yeah, just go with the thing that makes the most sense, right? They already tell you that there is a malignant um, cancer, aka chondrosarcoma, right? Cancer of the chondrocytes, aka cartilage, right? And so you know, you want to pick something that has cartilage in it, right? Osteoblast and osteoclast, bone, right? Spindle cells, right? This is mesenchymic in origin, right? Um, usually not going to be the case. Let's see what they called it as, uh, Ewing sarcoma, okay? Small cells with abundant, right? That could be, you know, a neuroendocrine cell line, like you said, right? And then osteoid production, that's more bone. So the only one that deals with cartilage is B, right? Mm-hmm.